Today, we're going to set up a new profile in Capture Estimating. In order to set up a new profile, you'll go and click on the profile list. From here, you can see in the top right corner, the button for new. We'll click that button. Now to walk us through the next step. First, we put in the profile name. So for example, if we wanna call this test profile. From there, we pick the type of profile it is, insurance or an account. Typically, if we're gonna be setting up a, a dealership or a rate profile or a fleet account, we would use account. So we click on that. One of the nice features in here is that if there is a profile that we already have for a, an account that is similar, we can go grab that. And what we would be doing is just editing that profile underneath a new name. For this one, we're just gonna go ahead and create a new one. So we'll hit create. As you can see, it added it down at the bottom. And from here, it's now an active account that I can go click on and continue through the process. Notice on the left-hand panel that now there is a list of additional things we can do. One is admin. Then you see rates, manual entries, thresholds, headers and disclaimers. And we're gonna walk you through those today. Right now we're in the administrative screen where here I can put in the company name, address, and any pertinent information to this account. Once we've added this information, we can then click to the rates. So we're just gonna go down to the next section. From here, we can use the default template. And what that's done is it's pulled in the default rates that we've had set up on the estimate. There's a standard list, as you can see in the category in the top left. If we click the down arrow button, we can see if there's others. If we wanna create additional categories, we can do that by clicking new. And we can create, for example, custom or Fred's or frequently used. Once we do the frequently used, we'll go change the category. And now we can go start to build those below. So now that we've created a category of frequently used, we now can start to add items underneath that section for manual entries. So in this example, we're gonna go ahead and add hazardous waste removal. We click new, we typed in hazardous waste and hit create. So from there, it now puts it into the part type. Now we're gonna go down below and we're gonna to start to select the things that are appearing to this. So this is gonna be sublet. And if we wanna put a dollar amount in for this sublet, we can. So we're gonna put in $5 here, there'll be no labor. And at that point, once we choose this in writing an estimate, it'll add hazardous waste. It'll put it as a sublet operation for $5. So as we continue moving down after manual entries, we now will go and add our thresholds. So when we click in here, this is where we'll set up our paint materials. So we now know what those hours and thresholds are for two stage and three stage refinish. So we can select those. If there's two tone, I can add it here. So if there's multiple colors on that vehicle, chip guard, and then is there a max on paint material? So this is what I wanna put there. And so you see me enter it on this particular example at $700. Below that, there are two other items to put in. You can put a total loss warning threshold so whatever your state regulations are or that particular customer regulations are, they may say, hey, at 70% of the value of that vehicle, have a warning so that you can notify them. So you can select that there. And then underneath that are days to repair calculations. So what this does is it takes the total hours on the estimate and divides it out to give you a number of days. So we want to figure out how much, what's your touch time per day? So that's how we configure the thresholds underneath this particular profile. One of the last steps we have is the header and disclaimer. So when we print an estimate, what do we want it to say on the top for this particular profile? So we can customize up to four lines and 78 characters that'll show up at the top of the estimate. And we can type whatever it is we need to. So for if it's a fleet or um, a dealership and they want certain things on the top or we want a disclaimer or information to be displayed up there, we can. And so we, again, we can type that in there. When we're done, we can also then bring in our disclaimer. What is our warranty? Those type of things that we wanna add. So once that has been completed, we have now completed setting up the profile in Capture Estimating. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more about Capture Estimating, go to www.try.autotex.us forward slash Capture Estimating.